Hello, everyone. Welcome to Qigong Everyday offered by Springforest Qigong. My name is Misa Tsuyoshi from Wisconsin. I am a certified Springforest Qigong instructor, trainer, and a healer. So we are waiting for the Facebook Live to start. So please use this time to relax, smile, and then settle down. Now we are going to start the Facebook Live. So hello everyone, welcome to Qigong Everyday offered by Spring Forest Qigong. My name is Misa Tsuyoshi from Wisconsin, United States. I am a certified Spring Forest Qigong instructor, trainer, and a healer. I teach level one, two, and three classes and offer Qigong healing and coaching sessions. It is Friday already. Time flew, and then this is my last one. It has been my joy and honor to be leading this week. Thank you all for your dedication, attendance, presence. And then thank you, Master Lin, for creating and sharing this beautiful practice of the heart, Spring Forest Qigong. And I thank you to all the masters and the Spring Forest Qigong staffs to keep nurturing us and then make things happen. And then also special thanks to Master Jackie Grant and then loving, lovely Ron Lee for keeping Facebook Live going and then, yeah, making it happen. Yeah, with, without them, we cannot do that. So thank you and then please say thank you to them. And then I would like to introduce the leader for the next week. So her name is Sarah. Adams Mar Duma. She is a Spring Forest Qigong certified trainer and she teaches level one Qi activation classes. So next week, enjoy her lead. So, and then um, by the way, I received quite a few questions. The answers are on the Facebook page. I continue to read all the comments and then all the questions and answer on the Facebook page. So I will share uh, just one today. So, um, so the person was new to Spring Forest Qigong and then um, mentioning I'm recovering from the operation and one arm still can't move much. How should I practice without one arm? So also can't do bouncing as it's affecting the wounds on the body. So wonderful question. Thank you so much for sharing. And so you can practice with one arm. So don't move the arm just, and then while you visualize, you visualize, you use the power of your mind to see or the imagine your other arm resting is moving, doing the bouncing, that's perfect. So your power of the mind is so powerful, your body feels as if the arm is doing what you are doing. And then also bouncing, same thing, visualize, imagine, you are bouncing, smiling. So that's all. Thank you so much. So now, yesterday, we focused on trust and faith within us. So I saw many positive comments, you know, experiences on the Facebook page. And then I'm so grateful and I'm so happy that you are experiencing the power of Qigong. And then now, how can we keep the trust and faith going? while you know, we continue to practice every day for a long time. So we need to keep it going. So that is the question I received from many of my students. My suggestion is to stay connected with the divine wisdom and energy and unconditional love. So this is a focus today. So let's open our heart. Heart is so important. Open heart, focusing on the heart and then connected with the universe or the divine energy or the, you know, your, your um, God's energy or master's energy, and then activate our unconditional love energy by connecting with those things, you know, I mentioned right now, divine energy. So our heart is the ho uh, house of the soul. And then the soul is always pure. And on the other hand, our spirit, you know, that operates our bodies. But you know, 
spirit can be affected by the um, you know life experiences like an accident or the emotions, and it can be distorted or changed. So, and then you can guess the operation of the body can be affected because the spirit operates the body. So we would like to keep or the help the spirit to stay on the right track, right? So that's why we would like to you know, keep our heart open because the soul is always pure. And then let the soul and then heart connect and then keep it going. So open the heart, connect with the divine energy and then help everything go smoothly and it function well. So this is the layer today. So we are going to layer this one on top of what we learned this week, power of the mind, breathing, focus on the feelings. So, and then trust and faith within us. So it's going to be a perfect thing for us to do, keep going. The movement for today is to the, the connecting with our heart's energy. One of my favorite, one of the um, level one chi activation class. And then um, it will help you to focus on the gratitude energy or dark blue light. And then the fear, all of them will be transformed into beautiful butterflies or smoke. So just not think about that. And then I would then guide you through the meditation, short meditation with 10,000 hands, my uh, favorite one. So one of the um, level two movements. So I am going to do this one to help you to connect with the divine energy. So as you continue practicing and balancing energy, practicing spirit force qigong, your perception will shift. Look forward to that. And you will go back to the blueprint you already have to live a happy life. And you will reset your energy to attract the right people and the resources, as well as abundance and the prosperity. All right, so let's start our practice. So now I will get back here. So let's start bouncing. So feet firmly grounded shoulder or, the, or hip distance apart and you smile relax every part of the body tuck your chin and then you inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth for better detoxification are you smiling start my internal love engine your shoulders are dropped you feel so happy bouncing or inviting the happy energy. You feel the vibration of the bouncing in your body, gently massaging all the organs, all the bones, all the tissues, clearing your spine. Just feel it. As you feel, lift your arms. You can lower your arms if you want to. Keep your shoulders down. Let your hands bounce with you. Continue to feel the vibration. Feel every part of the body with you right now, bouncing with you. So deep breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. So breathe out longer so that you can detoxify more. Are you still smiling? Now slowly lower your arms, stop bouncing and feel the buzzing feeling or any feelings happening in your body. Now we are waking up our bodies, tapping on the cheekbones nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beginning of the eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
make your hand like a cup, top of the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now base of the head, support your forehead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Massage the C7, big bump at the bottom of your neck, opening the energy channel between your head and the entire body. Gently massage or squeeze. Channel open. Now let's clap. Open your hands nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left elbow inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left armpit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now slightly tip forward from the hips. Make a loose fist, or you can rub the kidney area. Your vitality energy, no, very important organ system here. With back of the hands, and you can again say the secret pass. So my wrinkles gone. Now loose fist, tap the sacrum tailbone area, opening up the window to the vitality energy center. Yeah, whenever you're sitting longer, then do this one time to time. Marceline has said, you know, once in 30 minutes. Now put your hands on. On your back support and then you know, straighten. You can massage with your hands, that's fine. But vibration is good. Now let's do the knees, left knee, sides, both sides with both hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Front of the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back of the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now your body and mind ready for the practice. So let's get ourselves set up the posture to benefit more. So your feet grounded. Yeah, you can kind of try to grasp your gra the ground with your fingers, toes. And then just imagine strong roots growing deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth, receiving the energy, supporting energy. And then you are growing like a tree, beautiful pine tree. Energy coming into your body. And then you relax your knees so that the energy can flow into your body, into your body. And you feel the spine is stretching stronger and straighter. Drop your shoulders, elbows away from your body, fingers are open. And you can try the feelings here. So stretch your fingers and feel how it feels. Smile in your face, tuck your chin, tip of the tongue touching the roof of the mouth, connecting the major energy channels. Feel how you feel, standing strong yet relaxed, enough tension to support your body. Now bring your focus into your lower dantian, deep in behind your navel, your vitality energy center here, and see the beautiful soft light shining there, like a candlelight. And you feel the warmth as you breathe through your nose, in and out, slower and deeper. You see the light shining brighter, more beautifully. And now let's connect us with the universal energy, the divine energy, your God's energy. Let's say the password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And feel your energy field. The chi field is now expanding and then connecting, merging with the universal divine energy, your God's energy. 
and those divine energy freely through flowing into your body, into your heart, into every part of the body, organs. Feel you are so connected and loved, supported and guided. Feel the vibration of unconditional love energy, divine energy. Now, we feel how much we are loved. Sometimes we don't recognize that, but we have been protected. We have been guided and loved unconditionally, no matter what. Everything we experience, that is a gift. Even though at that moment, it may not feel good or right, but everything is a gift for us to experience and then grow stronger and wiser and more loving. Just know it. And by feeling, by acknowledging that, we bring more joy, happiness, peacefulness, contentment, and as we grow those energy within, and then we are now given the gratitude energy. So feel your heart is now opening. And you bring your hands in front of your heart, press them together, fingertips to your palms, and then feel your heart is getting warmer and warmer. And with the gratitude energy, you start bowing, inhaling and bow down. You don't need to go deeper. And then if you need to sit down for the balance, you can sit down and then just move your upper body. And then each time, if you'd like to, you say something you are grateful for. Grateful that you have the roof to protect you. And grateful that you have things to wear and then eat. And grateful you are receiving unconditional love, guidance, and protection. So I will be quiet. So just feel the warmth in your heart and then do this one with your gratitude energy. And feel the universe, the divine energy is sending you the unconditional love energy, the energy of gratitude, the dark blue light for you to use and heal. Now I will be quiet, yes. And as you do this, all the fear energy, they are now changing into smoke or butterflies. 
going out from every part of the body. You continue to focus on the gratitude energy, the blue light filling every cell in your body. Feel your heart getting warmer. Feel your entire body so relaxed, filled with the divine energy vibrating. Feel your soul loved, protected, guided. Now please do one more bow. Receive the energy of gratitude. Feel it in your heart. One more deep breath in and out. And feel your entire body is filled with this dark blue light energy of gratitude. You can lower your arms. And then if you would like to, you can sit down for the short meditation. So this is the 10,000 hands movement. Smile. Again, reset your posture, straight spine. Relaxed shoulders. Imagine you have 10,000 hands. Each hand can do different things. Each hand can receive so much of love and guidance, protection from the divine. As you inhale, lifting your arms, collecting, receiving all the blessings, all the unconditional love, supports wisdom and then top of the head above the head you put the palms together and then bring your hands back down onto top of the head hold your breath count three two one and then as you exhale lower your hands in front of your body palms together and then now turn your finger point fingertips down to the floor Keep lowering down and then open your fingers and then again inhale and then feel you are so blessed. Blessing energy. You are gathering, receiving and then put your palms together, put them on top of the head, download as you count three, two, one, blessing your body. Exhale. Your gratitude energy is now being exhaled and filling your room, enter your house, and then your family, your community, the world. So you continue to repeat this one. You receive and then you return, you give away. 
your wonderful energy. So bless your organs, bless your entire body, every cell. And you just know this, you are a true love radiator, unconditional love radiating, healing energy radiating, gratitude energy radiating. And then you need more divine energy to support you to build more confidence, more trust, faith. Bless your body, bless your spirit, bless your soul, bless everything you have within. All the channels open. You got so much of wisdom, resources that are available for you if you need. Feel how wonderful it feels for you to be connected with the divine energy. All available for you so you can trust, have faith within you. Everything is purified, strengthened. Just feel this blessing energy. And you exhale gratitude energy so that everybody else can enjoy this energy, benefit from it. Please do one more last move. Visualize yourself smiling, standing so firmly confident, having trust and faith, and you are ready to walk, continue to walk the path of your healing and helping others with a beautiful heart. So relax your arms down to your sides. Smile. Your chi field is so big, no limit. But now it's time for you to come back here within you. So focus on your lower dantian. Lower dantian, deep in behind your navel, and see that energy ball spinning faster and faster clockwise, getting smaller and brighter. And finally, it becomes the size of an energy pill. You tuck it deep behind your navel into your medicine cabinet. Take three gentle deep breaths in and out. Slowly open your eyes, smile, rub your hands. Massage your face. Draw a heart shape. Each time feels so good, so loving. Now comb your hair. Cup your head. Massage your ears. Cup top of the head. Base of the head. Now left arm, inside, outside, inside, outside, right arm. Left armpit, feel the vibration. Now you are feeling your body, side of the body, right armpit to the side of the body, front of the body. Now tap, <clears throat> excuse me, the kidney area. You can rub with your palms, back of the hands. Now rub your hands, make them warm 
and then hold your kidneys in your hands and then say, thank you. I'm so grateful. Now loose fist, tap your tailbone, sacrum area. Now straighten your body, hip bones. Feel the vibration. Now interlace your fingers and then massage your belly clockwise. This one can build up your vitality energy, make yourself stronger, healthier. Now, feel how you're feeling. So it has been wonderful to be with you for the entire week. And then I'm so grateful that you are here making time. So say thank you to yourself. And then say thank you to Master Lin and then all the masters and a divine energy. So continue to practice, watch the replays, and then practicing, practicing, practicing. All we need to do is to keep practicing and keep improving. And then you will have a wonderful, you know, prosperous, abundant, and then um, right people, right resources will come to you. You will attract lots of wonderful energy by practicing and keeping yourself going with Spring Forest Qigong. So thank you all. And then I look forward to seeing you again sometime. And then, yeah, maybe come to my classes. I would love to see your faces because I cannot see your faces here, but thank you. My name is Misa Tsuyoshi, Certified Spring Forest Qigong Instructor, Trainer, and a Healer. And then I have to say goodbye right now, but see you very soon. Thank you all. Blessings. <laughs>